Hi, it's Mike from Custom Cruises. Finally, the trailer is emptied. Okay, Federlite, awesome bit of kit, as you can see. And for American cars, okay, massive. The length in the back of the bed, as you can see, 5.3 meters, which is 209 inch, which is 17 foot, one, two, three, four, five, 17 foot five. Now, these trailers, this one here, I was converting to a display unit. So all this will open massive, massive window. I believe it's 78 inches wide. Okay, six foot, whatever. No, actually it's more, but enormous thing. Um, huge space in here. We fitted the lights in. These are 240s. We've got the 12s as well going on. This one's re-securing, okay. Had a leak on the roof, so this came down. But uh, all this will obviously go back up. There is a proper filler trim, and obviously been running the wiring. So this here, you know, you can see there was a bit of a leak, which is now done. But uh, we were originally put in a shower, which we have started in here. Okay. Here's the door to the outside, complete with tool roll holder, <laughs> etc what to do this is a sleeping area up here which as you can see now is just used for storage but uh, perfect for sleeping you got usb charger you got lights you know you got little light you got the big light toilet and shower is there this is where we're going to put the cooker etc and the cupboards and then basically this will give you all this huge area and i mean this thing is huge um Originally, it was used by Team Lucky Strike for a car transporter for the race team when we bought it. But uh, cracking bit of kit. I say I've dry lined it, we've insulated it. it. Just wants really finishing off. But you can see how huge this thing is. I mean, here's one of my motorbikes. And I'll be honest, you get four in here, if not <laughs> possibly six of the things abreast. Um, but absolutely enormous thing. Can be driven. <coughs> on a car license apparently um, or I always have grandfather rights and all that if you're younger you might not be able to but obviously the door opens up secures you got your 240 your 110 as well there's a 110 transformer and your 12 volt supply in there okay this is where all the water stuff is there's hot and cold heaters under here but uh, if you want something originally we were going to use this when we retired to live in but uh, it really is an enormous thing. We can go to Spain, put aircon in, which I think I have actually got an aircon unit and all the gear to do it. Some Winnebago stuff, including an Onan uh, 110 generator, great big four cylinder thing, but uh, certainly an awesome bit of kit. And as you can see for the shows, you know, these are truck exhausts here, and this is a motorbike. So this really does give you an idea how big this thing is. And as you can see, you could get at least another bike there possibly six motorbikes in here <laughs> the dream of dreams um just amazingly well made federalite trailer you know the inside as i say it's just beyond all belief now i've actually bothered to tidy it out two ramps flip down obviously but um let me just check the size of the thing you know this obviously folds up this is a rear door and as you can see it's a triaxle now that means it virtually stands on its own with or without the front legs because of these huge, enormous wheels, which are all been powder coated, um, brand new stainless steel nuts. And as you can see, pull out steps here, which I'm going to get redone. These ones re powder coated. Um, it is certainly a, a thing that you just don't see anymore. Or well, to bring one in now from America would cost you an absolute fortune. Standard gooseneck American hitch, as you can see very very over engineered being american of course you've got your trailer brake connectors here you've got a runaway brake system here which means that say for any reason at all the trailer came off this would pull a pin out of there and put the electric brakes on but uh, we've got water supply there we've got the gas heater there this will obviously heat you warm water but uh 240 there I believe we've got a 110 socket as well, if you're going to run it on 110. But these metal lights now, to bring in from America, these new are 70,000. I'm going back a long time ago, this big triaxle one. You know, now with the and duty and shipping, I bet you're looking 80, 90,000 um, quid. You know, you've now got the and duty on everything and the freight has gone horrendous, a one and a half 
a 20 foot container were a grand and a half. Now you're looking at 11 grand to ship one of these babies in. I bet you're looking four or five grand just on the shipping alone. But uh, size wise, there isn't really anything like this at all that's made in Europe, that's for sure. And I say, this is what they call the top of the range Federlite transporter. You can put the windows in the front, then you will get away with calling it an RV, but we were using it for show, so obviously we didn't want people breaking in. But uh, you've got to admit that this thing is absolutely a bollocks, <laughs> okay? It will be up for sale, but uh, just got to repair that right hand wire there. It goes up to make it easier to lift the, the rear door. But saying that, you can lift the rear door no problem anyway, so it's not a major issue at all. Um, if you're interested, give us a call. I want 773-835-666, customcruises.com or the new site, customcruises.eu. Thank you.